All right, hello everybody. It's uh, we're running just a little bit behind. Uh, it's seven oh five on uh, January third, twenty twenty three. Happy New Year to everybody. Um, we'll go ahead and start off um, today's meeting. We'll do a uh, I'll do a quick roll call um, of all the planning board members that are here. Uh, I'll just go with who I see first. Uh, Andrew here. Mark here. Sue. Here. Linda? Here. Haley? Here. And I'm Nathan. I'm obviously also here. Um, I think this is the first time we've had, it's been a little while since we've had everybody, uh, everybody present. That's good. Uh, all right, so uh, our town planner is uh, working on some technical issues for another another group. Uh, so hopefully she'll be able to join in, in just a few moments. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to kind of work backward on the agenda just to do a few of the things while we wait for her to join. Um, so I'd like to start with if there are any um, liaison reports uh, from any of any of the members. Andrew, I don't, you, I don't know if you want to talk about CPC, what they're doing uh, um, currently. Sure. Um, CPC is finalizing its warrant articles for um, this year. Um, we received um, a number of really solid applications and there, um, interestingly, was enough money, um, which is really unusual. So um, there were um, plenty of good things being funded um, in the recreation area, as well as housing um, with the um, change in, I guess, the departure of um, the the affordable unit over at, um, I forget the name, Chris, um, I keep thinking Christopher Heights, but I don't actually know if that's what it's called, that is what it's called. Um, the, the CPC made efforts to get that money back um, so that it could be re-upped this cycle that um, didn't quite work. So it'll be available to reallocate to um, housing initiatives next year. Um, in addition, um, yeah, the they're they're just in a, uh, there was nothing. I don't think that there was that contentious. So it, it's all going to move forward, and there'll be plenty of money next year for more projects. So keep your eyes open for things to suggest. I guess that's where we stand. Great. I just want to acknowledge that Elizabeth has been able to join. Um, uh, Elizabeth, we're just doing the uh, uh, liaison reports first. <laughs> To, uh, to take up some time. Um, so we'll finish that up and then uh, we'll yeah. jump on something else. Yes, I'm I'm sorry. We um, Zoom changed a setting and so at this point in time, yes. we cannot start the CPC meeting because this meeting has started. Um, yeah. yeah, yeah. So I'm, um, we're all kind of panicking right now. Um, so yes, if you can, um, I'll be back in one second. Okay, we will we will continue on with with this. Thank you, um, Elizabeth. You need to make me host then. Oh, I can't. I can't leave. Oh, um, this meeting. Yeah, even if I make you host and leave, we're we still can't get the CPC meeting started. Okay. So, um, I'll be right back. Oh, and then lovely. Um, did, did, did Conquer not re-up its, uh, its Zoom? <laughs> well, Andrew, you definitely made the right choice to be in this meeting. <laughs> <laughs> All right, are there any other uh, liaison reports while? while well, I'll mention while Elizabeth is working on things that the West Concord Advisory Committee has been um, following our work on the combined business residents article with some interest since it might have bearing on um, a possible uh, development in West Concord, although honestly it seems last I heard it seemed more likely to proceed without us making any changes just for to, to speed things along. Okay. Um, any other liaison reports? If not, Marsha, are there any uh, 
do you stand in for any sort of town town plan or anything going on in the office? Um, no, I don't have anything. I, I'm sorry, I was out of the, the office last week, so I can't even provide an update. Okay. I was just curious um, what happened with CMLP trying to get select board to modify the solar bylaw a bit for the for the middle school related to the middle school yeah does that go anywhere i think we made it was determined that uh that it was not necessary and um that we could uh, approach it from a um we made the determination that the solar panels on the roof of the um the carports the carports were not a structure under the definition of that section and so um it can go forward through either a variance process or something comparable but um the building commissioner made that determination that it wasn't uh it wasn't defined per that section of the zoning bylaw Got it. Okay. All right. Uh, we can't really move. <laughs> we can't really move forward on any of the other items until Elizabeth is able to rejoin. So, um, I think we have. Um... Can't we continue the item to continue? Right. Yes, you uh, can continue that. Continuance, yeah. Um, I'm just looking to see who might be here. Um, maybe Robert Drew from Battle Architects was the architect on the project for 37 Lexington Road, which needs to be continued. Robert? Yes. Okay. Yes, that's correct. Um, there were some comments from the town engineer that um, came in a little bit late, and we just want to give them enough time to review those comments and then review the whole project as a whole. That's all we're asking. Okay. Just making sure everyone's caught up. Um, so it's, it's best to have everyone as a whole for the 24th. Um, I think it's uh, the next meeting is January 24th. Right. And uh, we're ready. We'll be ready for that. Just um, set a piecemeal in it, do it all in one piece. Okay. That's all. That's all we're asking. <laughs> so it's uh, continuing the discussion to January 24th then. That's correct. Okay. I don't know what we have. Do you need a motion? Yeah, we'll need a motion, but I think we also have to say the time. So um, let's keep it the same time that it is now, assuming I think we probably already have another seven o'clock that's uh, that's going to be on the agenda. Um, so if someone wants to make that motion and include um, for the 24th at 7, 10 p.m., I'd be willing to hear it. Or otherwise, I can I can do it, I guess. Um, I move that we um, continue uh, without discussion um, the application for the Concord Center for the Visual Arts for a special permit with site plan review under zoning bylaw sections 7.1.3, 7 7.7.2.12, 7 11.6, and 11.8 to demolish the existing Coleman Gallery and construct a 2,593 square foot addition to an existing 7,349 square foot non-conforming structure and relief from parking at 37 Lexington Road, parcel 0015 to our January 24th meeting at 7, 10 p.m. Second. Is there a second or assume second? Second. That Perfect. was me. All right. I will uh, we'll take a vote now. Uh, all of those in favor. Um, Sue. Aye. Haley. Yes. Linda. Yes. Mark. Yes. Andrew. Yes. And I am also a yes. All right. Thank Thanks. you. Thanks. Happy New Year, guys. Yep. Same to you. All right.
Marcia, you don't have the ANR information, do you? You're on mute. Yeah. Oh, you said I, <laughs> I saw that as a no. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Yeah. Can we share our own screens as um uh as board members since we got um documents mailed to us by Elizabeth? You could yeah, do that, yes. We can we can do that as she doesn't need to present them to us. If if somebody has the plan, then I think you can share it. Oh, she's returning. So oh. hold on. <laughs> there she is. I guess I'm going to have to start doing my homework and be prepared for these <laughs> backups. <laughs> yes, for the whole next, um, not quite a month. Five months, five months. <laughs> I've, that's news to me i've extended my retirement to the end of may so hooray for the town sorry about that marcia <laughs> oh no it's okay um so uh, the the issue with the the zoom setting and cpc uh seems it is not something that we can resolve because um, our Zoom administrator is on vacation. Um, we're not quite sure what changed, but we cannot have this meeting and open and the CPC meeting opened. So I'm hoping that the planning board can um, be expeditious and yes. maybe be done by like 8.30 and the CPC the could then could meet. So let's um, do that. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. All right. So just so you know, we so we already did liaison reports. We did uh, the continuance, um, and so we were we were about to do try and do A and R's on our own. Okay. Well, I done. will I will be <laughs> I will be happy to um, I will be happy to share my screen, and um, I'm not sure. I did not see. Um, I did not see anybody here for the applicant. So, um, uh, so this is the um, property. It, it's at the end of Adams Road. Um, Adams Road is off of Elm Street. Uh, and uh, this is the Assabet River in the back. Uh, this hash line is the 100 year floodplain. Mm -hmm. And the applicant is um, proposing a, an addition to the horse barn. Um, so this is the addition off the back. It's going to be um, new stables and an addition to the horse riding arena, um, which requires work within the 100 year floodplain. Um, which is this dark dashed line. And the applicant is proposing um, to fill in this area and then excavate um, out an area for the compensatory flood storage. And I'll go back to go back to the report. Um, so the project requires approximately um, 25.43 cubic yards of, uh, no, 8.93 cubic yards of fill, and they're providing 25.43 cubic yards of compensatory storage. Uh, the project has, and the calculations and plans um, have been reviewed by the engineering division, and they have confirmed uh, the work in the 100-year floodplain and the compensatory storage. The project has gone through the Natural Resources Commission and has already received an order of conditions, um, finding that the project will not have uh, an effect on the natural flow of water courses or um, have an impact on flood storage areas, um, in fact represents a benefit given the additional flood storage area. Um, there are no other issues and concerns have been raised with the project, so the recommendation is that the planning board recommend the Board of Appeals approve the special permit 
uh, subject to these two standard conditions of approval. Okay. Are there any questions from the board? I have one quick question. I'll try and make it very brief. Um, I can barely hear you, Linda. Okay, I, have a, I have a quick question and sure. it has to, has to do with um, actually a, a lot of times we talk about um, waste disposal and septic. I, we've, I've never seen anything with large animals before. And so my question was, is this an increase in the number of animals, um, horses housed at, at this site? And it, is there a waste issue that, um, that might be um, something to address? Because I, I just don't know. I've not looked at anything like this. Um, so as far as the application that's before you, um, that wouldn't be part of the application before you, the work in the floodplain. Um, but what I can tell you, um, I, I do not know if this, if this project represents an increase in the number of horses. Um, what I can tell you, as far as the keeping of horses um, through the Board of Health, uh, they are required, they have annual inspections. They are required to have a... Um, a, a, a manure plan um, that includes, you know, where it's kept, how it's kept, um, you know, how it is gotten rid of, and it's it's all regulated. That is all regulated and licensed through the health division and the board of health for the keeping of animals. Um, because um, I I don't know the specifics of um, as far as natural resources commission, but um, the through the health division when they do the annual inspections and they review their um, manure plan um, where it is located and how it is kept is all part of that license okay so even if this was a substantial increase though it doesn't necessarily look like it is the board of health would be aware of that and they would have but they're not weighing in on this project. So that that's. Um, the Board of Health would not be. Um, <laughs> um, the Board of Health is not weighing in on the, the work within the floodplain, no. Um, right. But as far as the keeping of animals, that that is an annual license and an annual inspection. And so that okay. license has to specifically state how many horses are being kept. Okay, that's, thank you. Um, so, um, Marcia just texted me and said she saw a message that indicated Zoom said there's only uh, 10 minutes remaining for this free meeting. Um, so. Oh, yeah, actually I see that too now. It says remaining meeting time, six minutes and 26 seconds. Okay. Um, well, let's before anything goes crazy. Let's okay. Let's so, um, so before you know, before anything goes crazy, if um, uh, is everybody available? If this meeting gets continued to tomorrow morning at eight a.m., is that is that a possibility? Just to do. Um, well, I mean, all you have left is the warrant article stuff. So. And the ANR, and well, a we're gonna. On this article. I'm, yeah, I'm gonna. We can we can do the ANR right now within five minutes. That's I'm not concerned about yeah. that. Um, I will weep, but yes, I'm available at eight a.m. tomorrow morning. I am not available. I'm available tomorrow. Could you like eight thirty? I couldn't do it as early as eight. It's more um, the Wednesday part for me. I, Wednesdays are difficult. Okay. Um, how many do we have out of that? Is it Mark? Are you available? Linda yes, is, I'm available. Yep. Haley could be available at eight thirty, and Sue is available. So that's four. We would have enough. And I could do later. Okay. So for for eight thirty, whichever works for you guys. Sounds like eight thirty. <laughs> 
الصحي While she's doing that, let me just ask, are there any other questions on this uh, on this one for, I don't even have the address in front of me anymore. It is 160, 160 Adams. Adams. Yeah. If there are no other questions, I'll take a quick opportunity for public comment, but you've got 10 seconds to do, <laughs> to do it. All right, I'm not seeing any hands raised for that. Uh, I'll take a motion. Um, uh, I make a okay. motion. Okay, ah, go ahead, go ahead, Mark. Go ahead, no, go ahead. Okay, I move that the board recommend and give a, a favorable recommendation to the ZBA um, to Palm Realty LLC for a special permit under zoning bylaw section 7.2 and 11.6 to construct a barn addition, which requires 8.93 cubic yards of fill within the floodplain conservancy district and 25.43 cubic yards of compensatory flood storage at 160 Adams Road, parcel number 1819-1. With the two conditions. With the two standard conditions. Yes. I'll Thank second you. that. And then quickly a uh, vote based on what I see. Andrew. Yes. Mark. Yes. Linda. Yes. Haley. Yes. Sue. Yes. I am also a yes. So that, that at least takes care of that. Okay. Um, uh, so I'm going to show you the a &R real quick, but if somebody could move following the um, a &R, the planning board will continue their meeting till 8.30 Wednesday, tomorrow, January 4th. At 8.30, yes. Yep. Okay. Oh, uh, I'm, okay, we'll do the a &R and then or you want me to do it now? Um, I I'd, I'd like I'd like a formal motion and a vote to continue the meeting. I make a motion that we move that we continue the meeting to uh, uh, January fourth at eight thirty a.m. Uh, and a Zoom link to be sent out later. I second the motion, but how will the public get the Zoom link? Um, well, it will be it will be posted right after this if this meeting dies in two minutes. Okay. And cool. Seconds. All right. Uh, all in favor, Andrew. Is, is that a Andrew, yes? Andrew, you're on mute. I'll take that as a yes. Haley. <laughs> yes. Yes. Sue. I thought so. Yes. Mark. Yes. Linda. Yes. Yes. I am also a yes. And Andrew's okay. a yes. So quickly, yes. those ANRs. No, I'm, I'm, this is Linda Escobedo. I'm just yep. wondering if this is going to, somebody's going to have an issue with the 48 hour posting. It's a continuation during a public meeting. I don't think so, Linda. Um, this has to be done in order to get the warrant articles in, uh, submitted by the planning board. I'm good with that for now. Great. All right, go Elizabeth. Okay. Um, one minute. You can do it. We can do it. Okay. Um, this is um, off of Authors Road. Lexington Road down here. Um, all the two property owners are doing is a land swap. This little bit of area and frontage um, in B um, is going from one parcel to the other. And this area highlighted back here, um, parcel A is going from parcel B over to parcel 9A-6-A dash dash and vice versa. Okay. Um, any, any questions? I hope not. <laughs> no, okay, great. Um, all right, uh, can I get a motion to approve these? Um, and I have, um, I, uh, where'd it go? Um, I had the, I did have it. I had the um, agenda memo. There you go. And Ailey, you want to do it? 